Supiot crashes into pier twice. 32 meter Supiot motor yacht Claremont crashes into the pier twice in Molo Vecchio Marina in Genoa, Italy. The maneuvering yacht was reversing but carries too much speed and crashes into two tenders with its stern. Fermati. And then it seems the captain who was trying to avoid the collision sent the vessel careening forward into the barge pier with the bow of the yacht. The incident was filmed by passers-by walking along the pier. The cause of the incident is still unknown, but it's most likely equipment malfunction, which caused the captain to lose control of the engine regulation. Italian Coast Guard vessel sinks after massive fire. A patrol boat of the Guardia di Finanza catches fire and sinks off the coast of Calabria. The ship was engaged in a night patrol with nine customs agents on board. According to reports, at around 0430 hours, the fire was discovered and a distress call was received by the Italian Coast Guard. The firefighters intervened with two motor ships. Luckily, the nine customs agents had already abandoned ship at this point. When the rescuers arrived, the flames had almost completely engulfed the patrol boat, and in a short time, the vessel sank. The G94 Capaletti unit was a 27-meter Coast Guard vessel supplied to the Naval Operations Section of Crotone. The cause of the fire is unknown, but it's said that she was recently deployed in operations aimed at curbing illegal immigrants, so sabotage has not been ruled out. Lursen launches Supiot the old-fashioned way. Lursen yachts have been busy lately, launching two super yachts over 100 meters in the last couple of months. The previously featured Project Enzo at 115 meters and the 122 meter Project Jag, which was launched the old fashioned way, being released down the slip into the water. She is scheduled to be delivered in 2023. The vessel, which was still bare metal, has a steel hull with aluminium superstructure. When delivered, she will be one of 58 super yachts in the world over 100 meters. Lursen Project 13800 on sea trials. And finally, again with Lursen, another super yacht almost completed is the 56 meter super yacht with the imaginative project name 13800. Lursen, who are known for building the largest super yachts in the world, are looking to re-establish themselves as a company who builds smaller yachts like the Project 13800. She is currently on sea trials and will be, and will be she is currently on sea trials and will be delivered in the summer. She will also have her world debut at the 2021 Monaco Yacht Show. Okay guys, thanks very much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think of the stories you've seen today and I'll catch up with you soon.